that I get uh, in my comments on YouTube or on my Instagram page or on Snapchat is how I stay organized and I thought it would be pretty helpful if I would make a video on five tips on how to stay organized as a student, uh, a law student, philosophy student, double degree student, university student, whatever. This uh, is helpful for any student whatsoever. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, let's start with the five tips on how to stay organized as a student. So tip number one is to make sure you have a very clean desk area where you can work. So I personally noticed that if my room or my desk especially is a mess, I can't concentrate as well. Um, I don't know if I have a little bit of OCD or something, but I feel like desk area, clean area to work is very uh, stimulating uh, for your concentration. So for example, usually my, uh, my loft is very clean and neat because as I said before, I like that I can concentrate way better when everything is clean. But uh, whenever I'm in an exam period, I don't have time to clean my room. So then everything is a mess and Recently, in the recent exam periods, I still took the time to clean my room because I noticed that I was feeling, I don't know, kind of so lazy and down just because my whole room was a mess and my desk was a mess. So um, if you also kind of notice that, maybe take some time to clean everything. If you're also kind of experiencing that, um, don't be lazy, just clean your room first and um, then start studying. Tip number two is to have a good planner. I honestly would never promote something if I am not 100% in love with it and I still to this day use this thing every day and I'm pretty proud of myself that I made this so um, if you follow my channel for a while you know that uh, I always use a desk planner um, I use the desk planner from HEMA um, but I kind of miss certain elements in the planner itself and I also didn't like how it looked so I was like hey, what if I make the perfect planner that's very beautiful for students? So that's what I did and this is the Supply by Lily Desk Planner and um, yeah, you can check it out. I'll link a video all about it, explaining everything about it um, here and down below. But you can also check out the site which is supplybylily.com and it's this desk planner so you can take it with you but it's like made to lay flat on your desk. So this is how it looks on the inside. You can use this planner also in 2017 because it doesn't have any dates. So don't worry about the calendar saying 2016 and 2017 because there are no dates in it so you can still order it. I do have to say I still have only a very small limited stock that will be online very soon. And by limited stock I mean like 20 pieces and that's it. After that you can't order this planner anymore and I'm going to design a whole new one because I got a lot of feedback from you guys uh, on, and a lot of ideas myself how I can improve this and that will be probably out around July or something. For me this planner is perfect because it has an overview of all my to-do lists for school, for other activities, for exams and it also has the whole overview of the week. So I think this is super handy and yeah, I just recommend any planner but I designed this that it would be a perfect fit for me, for my needs and I feel like my needs are similar to a lot of other students needs so that's why I like it so much. So tip number three is key if you want to be an organized person knows when and where you need to have your shit together and I'm talking about deadlines and exams this year especially I feel like it's so important for me to really know when my exams are when my deadlines are it may sound a little bit silly because it's like okay you have like two or three exams at the end of every like period every half of a semester like how can you forget about that you know so i really had that um during my bachelor now that i'm doing my master and also doing a second bachelor so i'm a double degree student and the master that i'm doing is a research master so i have a lot of essays instead of exams um i have like a lot of deadlines like first uh 
version, um, second version, final version, you know? So um, there's so many dates that are important for me to remember. So what I like to do is make a list. I again use my planner for it because here it says exams and deadlines and I just write all the upcoming exams and deadlines. Uh, just so I know, uh, even if it's like two or three months later, I still know, okay, uh, I have my exams then, I have my deadline then, um, because then you can plan not only weekly, but also more in advance, like a little bit monthly. For example, I traveled a lot uh, the last couple of months. Um, I traveled three times, which is a lot for me just during the school year so I really had to know okay so I have two weekends and I can't do when is my next deadline uh, okay so I can't do anything that week so I have to postpone it to um, the next week or do it the week before that kind of stuff so it's very nice to know all your deadlines and exams I also just like to write it on these little block notes and um, stick it on my planner or on I don't know my journal that kind of stuff so yeah, just make sure you have all your deadlines and exams under control. Tip number four is uh, maybe a bit too much for some people, but um, because I just wanted to give you my personal tips on how I stay organized, I wanted to share this with you. So I'm a very visual person, as you can see. I like a certain aesthetic and I like to have everything in that aesthetic. So um, yeah, I'm a very visual person and I respond very well to I don't know, nice notes and colors and that kind of stuff. I just remember it like better. So that's why I like to color coordinate all of my uh, subjects. I have a different color for all of my subjects and like in the subject itself, I also use different colors. Like for example, if I have a case study, I make all the case studies pink that have to do with a certain um, certain element of a law. So for philosophy, for example, I make um, if I have to study something for German idealism, I make them one color. If I have to study something for phenomenology, I make it another color. So I know like, okay, all these philosophers belong to a certain uh, movement and these uh, philosophers are from a later movement. So I kind of get a bigger picture. So my notes are pretty colorful, but I like that. I usually type my notes on my computer and then I'm rewriting it. So it's like neater and um, yeah, I don't have to hurry uh, writing my notes during the lecture. I can just do it at home. And then you have a little bit more time to do everything a little bit more peacefully. Um, but you also have to see it as practice because I'm also starting to study it at the same time. So. Yeah, it does take you more time now, but during the exam period, you already know more. So that's another tip. Last but not least is tip number five, and that is to organize your notes. So for my note organization, I use these document folders. I talked about these document folders, I feel, in one of my study routines and also in my back to law school tips. But I still feel like not everybody knows about these document folders. Maybe they do, but um, I discovered them when I was in high school. And since then, I've been using them religiously every year. So um, I'm quickly going to explain to you how I use them. I usually only have one notebook, but because I'm doing two studies now, I have two notebooks. Um, by the way, if you're wondering how I made these notebooks, I have a do-it-yourself on them that I'll link here or here down below. So they're do it yourself, I didn't buy them. Well, I did get, I like I did buy them, but not in this state. Anyways, so um, I do this because I'm the type of person that always forgets to bring her notebook uh, to class or forgets to bring like the right notebook. Um, so I realized it, for me, it's just way easier to have one notebook and then write on top of every page what course or subject it is. Um, but then, if you're studying, what happens is that you have all these different notes in one notebook and that's very annoying. So I always take my notes out of my notebook and then I place them in my document folder to have them all organized and neatly uh, together. It opens like this and then you have these little um, tabs where you can write the course name. So I have all my notes and all my handouts here uh, for every subject. For me, this is just way easier. I also have everything organized in a chronological manner. So um, yeah, that's just a very big tip for me because 
I'm the type of person that always brings her wrong notebook with her, so I don't like using a different notebook for every subject. Plus, she always carry way more notebooks if you have like multiple subjects during the day. So I always use one notebook, and then afterwards I organize everything. And for me, it's just a little bit, I don't know, nicer to study that way because I don't have this very bulky notebook. I just have a couple. Or not a couple, but a lot of pages, but still, it's a little bit more slim, easier to take with you. So, yeah, that's my last organization tip. So that's the end of this 5 tips for staying organized as a student video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know this is a little bit of a different um, university-related video. I'm kind of wanting to start saying university instead of law school, because I'm also doing philosophy now. And I feel like I, if I only say law school, it's not... It's not the, the complete picture, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm not sure yet. You're still my law fan though, even if you're not studying law. I get so many questions and um, if I do a Q&A video, for example, I could only give one or two tips because otherwise this video would be way too long. And now you have five tips. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video and you want me to make more of these kind of tip videos, let me know in the comments below and also thumbs up this video. Um, then I can definitely make more tips. Um, also, let me know in the comments below how you stay organized. If you have a very um, good way to stay organized or if you have a problem, like for example, uh, a certain area where you just can't get organized, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can help, maybe some of you can help. It would be nice to get a discussion going there with tips. So, um, yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I'm really trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. And, um, yeah, it would definitely make my year, yeah, my year, my day, my life, uh, if I hit this, uh, 100,000 subscribers this year. So, so um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys to a new video of mine. You're probably noticing that this video looks a little bit different, this setup looks a little bit different, and that's because I'm filming this video late at night, and it's kind of going to be a very raw video.